Hi Cancer, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings on the date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free one, that everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles can be the in between energies, as I always say. I run all day, so just know that this is entirely general. Feel free to take really whatever you want. Whatever does not fit, feel free to let go and don't force it, babe. So with this said, I also want to remind you that I am on Spotify. I do daily podcasts, so if you want to follow me, you can check the link on the description box below. As well, you'll find the same link on the comment section. So with this said, if you don't want to follow me, it's fine. I'm just letting you know. Let's see what... And also, if you want to know a little bit more about giveaways, please stay to the end of the video, or you're more than welcome to fast forward it. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. So we got the Eight of Swords, the World, the Sun, the King of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Temperance in Reverse, the Six of Swords, I'm uh, sorry, the Six of Rods in Reverse, the King of Cups in Reverse, and overall energy, the star. So I'm seeing here that there's something holding you back from moving forward, it seems like. I do feel like there's a sense of hope. It's like waiting for something to happen or waiting for someone to do something. It's like you're holding back because it's like, you know, like in a way to perform, you want to move forward, but at the same time, you don't want to move forward. It's because you're waiting in some sort of situation to get better, perhaps. With the Nine of Swords and the 10% reverse, at times, I do see that you have some sort of difficulties when it comes to accepting a certain situation because it's like, I know he or she is my soulmate or I know he or she or the situation is going to get better, but 10% reverse is like, you don't know when and it's like you want to understand why things are happening but at the same time you don't understand it and it's like what should i do kind of energy with the six of rods and the reverse and the king of cups and reverse i do feel like somebody is emotionally avoid they are emotionally unavailable in a way but it's like i do see a sense of like they avoiding you and or avoiding the situation to get out of their hands i do feel like they could have feelings for you but there's a sense of like maybe other people in the way or at their party situation not necessarily a person but with the start right here they want you to focus right now in yourself when it comes to healing and working yourself because i do feel like this will sort itself out because it's mainly this person's energy who is all over the place and that needs to be figured out or that they need to figure it out with the high priestess in the reverse right here uh pisces energy it seems like you're not listening to your intuition or your gut feeling i do feel like you are avoiding to listen to it in a way you perform or this could be you're afraid of listening to it. I do feel like um, you are let down and you feel like a little bit, I don't know, like disappointed, I would say, when it comes to this earth sign towards Vigo Capricorn. It's like I had you, but I don't I no longer had you. And it's like, it's very confusing because they're still pressing, but at the same time pushing you away, but at the same time they're not walking away okay so if you are in a relationship or let's say that they could be in a relationship with pisces cancer scorpio leo sagittarius aries it's like they feel guilty it's like they're making decisions based on what they think is right uh, it has nothing much with their emotions they do have feelings for you but at the same time if they are with somebody else or if you are with somebody else they think that the right thing to do is to not mess with that so this is a sense of like what's right versus what i want i do feel that with the nine of rods and the fool right here is energy it says right here that there's an intention here uh there's a possibility of them of things turning back around um i do feel like at the end of the day if this person were to come back or if you guys were to move forward with them there is a decision that needs to be made which has been present in most of your readings cancer and where it seems like most of you are in between two individuals and somebody's in between which is you and you're just like not knowing exactly where to go because with the star right here is telling you hey before you jump into conclusions maybe work on yourself a little bit more so you're able to see things in a different light in a more center way and then make a decision based on that let's see what else 
with the five full stores in the reverse right here this is not a win-win scenario because hold on this this car is but it's it's not going to be a win-win scenario or it's going to be a hard one to be because there is definitely like a love triangle here either or on your part or in his part or their part and if you're avoiding to get somebody hurt that's not going to work because whether it is more than two people there's always going to be somebody left outside in the cold and you cannot have it all nobody can have it all so at this point that's why i'm saying that you know at the end of the day it's it's not a win scenario uh, not a win-win scenario because at the end of the day somebody's going to get hurt in a way shape or form at the same time i do see right here that there's also a guilt that you don't feel guilt <laughs> it's that when you feel bad about yourself that you go like well i should feel bad because you know i'm hurting somebody but at the same time you don't because you really really want this individual or this could be their their feelings with the four rods i do feel like you're gonna end up choosing this person that you are not with right now and they're gonna end up choosing you but i do feel it's gonna be very complicated because there's other people in the way that seems to be connected with the both of you um i see it's not gonna be a plot by everybody there's gonna be a lot of people talking there's gonna be some sort of controversy but at the end of the day it seems like you guys don't really care much because you guys want to be together regardless with the three of rods in the reverse and the queen of cups you need to very, be very focused and sure that this is what you want because once you choose, there's no going back. Um, once you choose, there's no, oh, let me go back to the past and try to rebuild because it's just not going to work. You need, it says all to, to all believers, it says right here in reverse, you need to really believe and know and understand and want and be certain that this decision is what you want to stick towards too because like i said before after you choose is there's no going back like i said before the eight of rods things are not going to go back to how it used to this person or these people are not going to be in your life in a light in a life in a nice light so at the end of the day there's going to be this breakup or because like i said before if there is a third party which i do see here there's going to be a breakup that's un irreversible and once you do that you need to understand that nobody else is going to be in the same area or the same sense that before but justice libra energy um you need to have big man goals and make a decision here because your life has always been in your hands there's balance here and cards are not gonna tell you what to do we're telling you possibilities but i do feel that in your energies is very clear what you want is very clear what you want you just need i do feel like you just need a confirmation and this confirmation that you're needing is coming from this person uh in a couple weeks from now um i feel like whenever you understand that it's safe for you to jump in with them and that you know that they care and they want you that's when you're gonna make this decision i do feel like you are the one making the decision of leaving someone and moving to somebody else uh or you are making the final decision but it's like i hear the song is the final count now meaning that at the end of the day you are not going to be able to um go backwards with the three of cups right here this right here is the widow here so pretty much i feel like you're either or divorcing somebody or ending some with somebody and then having celebration with somebody else meaning like you're gonna have a new relationship it seems like with somebody else um I do feel that it's hard because with Scorpio energy and the Sagittarius, you're going to be carrying some weight because, again, it changed your life. You're changing this other person's life. It's a shift. Uh, it is like a chaotic energy, like the storm. But at the end of the day, I feel like you're moving forward confidently with better luck. I do feel like your future seems brighter. I feel like the person that you're choosing, it is your real person. I do see that it is the hermit energy is a Virgo. This person has been quiet and trying to push you away for a bit. They have been ignoring you purposely because they feel guilty in the situation that they put they feel bad they feel like they gotten that things got too far but but they do they do have feelings for you they do they do and with the hero fun again taurus energy here uh there's a sense of like yes they they did fell for you they this maybe started as a little game or for the both of you or something light and it became serious so I do feel like you need to prepare yourself for this because at the end of the day, you need to figure it out what you want. 
you don't have to do it now because this person is going to confirm to you what you thought like if they loved you or not they're going to actually confirm that to you right now they're holding back for now your job is to move forward confidently to continue to figure it out what you want who you are get get things situated because in a couple of weeks you're going to get the confirmation you have been seeking from this person that you haven't talked to but they're going to and then it's pretty much like okay so what do i know you need to like rearrange your ideas it's like pretty much starting over with this person so at this point make decisions because there is a confirmation coming that is the answer to what you've been seeking and wanting and good luck with that now let me see let me give you some potential initials keep in mind that this could be the first last middle or even a nickname as well okay and this one wanted to come out oh look at that an m wanted to come out so bad so we have here x xavier rs and rose h is a hamburger m is a michelle n as a nina w as in william q as in queso o as an oscar c as in cat and k as a kfc or kate and finally i want to provide you with an angels or archangels number with a message okay We got 1818 and it says optimism successful manifestation of your abundance is near higher levels of optimism are needed as new abundant beginnings are on the horizon brighter days are always come brighter days always come after the darkest nights and then we got 1313 which is clarity it says as the storm passes the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against a dark sky the divine is reminding you that clarity is readily is readily available all you have to do is ask you have weathered the storm and now the sky is clear like i said before that confirmation that is coming to you in a couple weeks from now is going to give you the clarity you need and like the green light you were seeking so be ready for that that's why i'm telling you to work forward move forward confidently continue with your plans when it comes to yourself because things are moving so with this said guys this is the end of your reading cancer thank you so much for watching do not forget to like and subscribe as i said before if you want to follow me on ig and on tiktok which i'm there also please go to the description box below and the links are available already as well as if you want to follow me on spotify the link is going to be again description box below or comments i'm trying to grow over there so i will highly appreciate if you want to follow me over there if not it's totally fine if you want to get a personal reading with me please make sure to book online is the only way you can book with me um, you can go to the description box below and you're going to find the link for that as well if it's easy you can book directly on my instagram where the link is going to be always on my bio i got all the links to all my platforms so with this said i want to also remind you that i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and talking about giveaways every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host a free reading giveaway so if you want to participate make sure to subscribe to my channel and help me out to grow because we are close and once i achieve it i will definitely make another giveaway that i always do Finally, I want to remind you that I do not message anybody on any platforms offering my tarot reading services as the only way you can book with me is through the website here on, in, on YouTube or you can book directly on my Instagram. So with this said, have an amazing day. Good luck.